God bless you family, Pastor Daniel Ortega here. Before we get into this video, like and subscribe to the channel. I got more videos coming your way. But today I want to address Pastor Jamal Bryan of New Birth Baptist Church and some really radical, unbiblical standing that he stated before his congregation. And pretty much what he was advocating for was the remaining of the abortions. He didn't like the overturning of the Roe versus Wade. And he began to say that it was an attack on the, the African-American community, an attack on women. He said that if America was really pro-life, that they would abolish the death penalty, that they would abolish world hunger and certain things like that but that statement and that argument really isn't valid there's a woman by the name of abby johnson who wrote a a movie that is called unplanned i encourage you to look it up it's called unplanned and she was an executive in planned parenthood and she goes on to expose the diabolical schemes and the plans that parent parenthood does and the evilness of this company but she had um, an argument against the case of, of people bringing in other issues and she used it like this. She says, does diabetes try to cure ha cancer? Do diabetes doctors, do they try to cure cancer? Do they try to cure HIV? Do they try and cure things that have anything else to do besides diabetes? No, they focus on their lane. They focus on what they're advocating for. They focus on the disease they're going after and that's exactly what pro-lifers that are seeking to save the babies are doing they're in their lane and they've been praying for years for the overturning of this of this law and in 1973 it was made legal to have these abortions and i looked it up and you know how many abortions happened the year before that were illegal where they claim that women will do whatever it takes to have these abortions with hangers excuse, excuse the graphic language whatever they have to do they'll have these abortions but do you know how many abortions that they had the year prior until they made this law legal it was 39 and i looked it up about how many deaths happened to people who've had abortions legally and in 2010 there was 10 deaths so you look at the number 39 to before it was made legal to 10 while well, it was legal in in 2010 and after 2010 they stopped reporting the deaths the cdc stopped reporting the deaths because i believe that the death numbers were really close to the death numbers when it was illegal when the abortions were illegal before 1973 the the yearly deaths for illegal abortions was 39 and in 2010 the last year that they documented deaths for legal abortions now when they had um legal legally could do abortions and all around the country in the united states it was 10. so you see the numbers are really close so also the argument of women will do whatever it takes they make it seem like there was thousands of women in back alleys and and doing this crazy massive epi epidemic of people and women doing abortions but when you look at the number it was 39. so two of those arguments are not valid i really plead with you pastor jamal bryan to get into the scripture i know you're a pastor and i know that you stand for a lot of political issues but this is an issue that you really need to reconsider but when you go before god on judgment day these your words will be recorded before you of you advocating for death uh, and murder of babies i want to show you a clip at the end of this video and I'm going to show you the clip of Jamal Bryant pleading to his congregation and preaching that abortion should remain legal. I'm going to show you two clips, so continue to watch this video. Watch it till the end. Once again, subscribe, like, tell me what you think at the end.
America turned back the hands of time and declared war on women in this nation. I wanted us to stand resolvely to uh, say to this nation that if America was authentically pro-life, then they would immediately abolish the death penalty. If they were really pro-life, then they would put more money into Head Start programs. If they were pro-life, they would seek to cure the opiate addiction in this nation. If they were pro-life, they would make sure that teachers feel safe in their schools. If they were pro-life, there would be stiff, stricter measures about gun control in this nation. If it was pro-life, we would not have to deal with food insecurity. But I stand with now the living matriarch of the movement, Maxine Waters, who said they have declared war on 32 million women in this nation. And one thing about a woman, when she is focused, she is not going to stop until she gets what she needs. We stand, but we realize that this is not just a woman's issue. Unless I don't understand how pregnancy works, men have to extend their voices as well. And so we speak to this nation to declare that new birth stands with the amazing women of this church, of this community, and of this country, that women have the right to have authority over their body. And it should not be legislated by men in Washington, D.C.